Hi there. Later on today, I'm flying with British Airways all the way to Singapore. So last night, I booked myself into the Thistle Hotel at Terminal 5. Now, there's two reasons why I booked the Thistle Hotel, and this is my second visit. One, the, it's connected to Heathrow, and it's actually connected in quite a funky way uh, with these uh, electric pod cars, which are driverless, which go? are quite good fun, and get you straight from the hotel into Terminal 5. Now, the hotel itself, it is a little bit dated. Um, it's, it's not modern, and you could describe it as perhaps a little tired, but it is immaculately clean, it's very nice, it's very comfortable. As you can see, there's a lounge area in the lobby with a small bar. You can get some snacks and refreshments from that bar. And there's also a vending machine with toothpaste uh, adapters and anything you need upstairs. And this is the second reason why I like staying at the Thistle, is the runway bar and restaurant. And the views of the runway at Terminal 5 are absolutely fantastic. Last night, I spent a couple of hours up there, took some great footage, and when the bigger planes are taking off, the A380s and 747s, they actually take off right in front of uh, the runway bar. So that's fantastic. So if you're an aviation geek, you've got to stay at the Thistle. And if you kind of like to look at planes before you're getting on one, you've got to stay at the Thistle. Now, the Thistle itself is actually quite low down. It's only two floors, so they're long corridors. So if you're booking your room, or when you're booking your room, if mobility is an issue, I quite enjoyed the, the extra walks, but uh, if mobility is an issue, do make sure when you're booking that you request a room closer to reception on the ground floor. So anyway, let's take a look at my room itself. Now, it does have that lovely brown furniture, which obviously people loved when it was first put in. Uh, I'm not a fan of it, as you can tell by all my videos, but we have everything we need in this room for a good night. We've had tea and coffee. We have a clean bathroom. We actually have a bathtub, which of course in modern hotels, it might be a little bit more modern, but tend to only be shower rooms. But we do actually have a bath, so that's good, because I like a bath in the morning. So we have our standard toiletries and we have everything laid out nice. And yes, we have a nice clean loo. You can tell a lot about a hotel by picking up that toilet seat. Place for our furniture. And as we go in, obviously, we have our wardrobe with an iron and ironing board. Plenty of hanging space. We've got a safe, which was nicely firmly attached to the wall behind it so that's good some extra towels we've got a nice work area I've got a, a video to edit believe it or not and the menu here now I've I've added a copy of the menu later which is also the in-room menu so if you want to pause the video later you can see what's available not just in the room but the in-room menu is also the same menu in the restaurant or in the runway bar so the air conditioning was great with a remote control not fitted to the wall, but that worked a treat. The view in this room, not particularly stunning, although of course you can see across the road, we've got right into terminal five, but I do have to sort of put the, the camera on zoom to get over there. There's a little car park in the way, but never mind. I've come here to get a night's rest. I've got a comfy bed. It's very clean, as you can see. You can see in all my videos, I pull this back so you can see exactly what you're getting in the hotel. So I'm more than happy with that. So that was good. And I have to say, I had a very good night's sleep on that bed. So I was happy. And I woke up this morning to the sound of an aircraft, which I loved. Maybe you won't. So there is a bit of noise uh, coming from aircrafts taking off because you are right by Terminal 5. Breakfast this morning, um, tremendous, to be honest everything's there uh, it's a truly truly international breakfast as you'd expect so you've got all your continental meats and i had the full works and went for bacon and eggs sausages beans mushrooms yeah so i do need to do those walks down the long corridors so they are good for me but as you can see it's it's a fully complete breakfast buffet 
and the service in the place is nice. The guys are friendly. Um, the from reception right the way through, you know, there's there's always a smile. It's a nice, friendly place, and it's of course when you're having breakfast. Not only have you got a good, very good breakfast fare in front of you, you also have the views of the runway. So again, if you're like me and you really like watching aeroplanes taking off. This is definitely the hotel for you to stay at. And there's a third reason. This isn't particularly my main reason, but it's very, very good value. I paid £53 last night, and that was October the 6th. As you can see, there's my breakfast in all its glory. So the in-room menus are coming up. So if you really want to check out the food that's available in the hotel, do pause them so you can see them there. But as I keep saying, what I've come for and I think what most people come for is that view straight over to Terminal 5 and the simple access to Terminal 5. Now, I say a lot of other Heathrow hotels which might be more suitable for you. So do check out the link that's on the screen now to the other hotels. Please do like the channel and don't forget to subscribe because I travel all the time and I'm publishing hotel reviews, top tips, flights, all my travels go on my channel. So please do check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.